Hi, in this video, you will see how we can track a stock price using Google Sheet. By following this video tutorial, you will be able to create this type of uh, sheet, which will actually pull real-time data from Google Finance. Later, I will show you how you can use the same template to pull the other stock data also. So at the beginning, I will start with Apple stock and once I complete the Apple stock, then I will jump for Amazon stock. Then I will show you how you can use the same template to pull Amazon stock or some other stock also. So this is the summary of this video tutorial. So we will going to start very soon. But before going to the main video, I will request you if you are new to my channel or if you still didn't subscribe to my channel, please subscribe to our channel. Now let's get started. So this is a Google Sheet I created and I created a template. Uh, this is just some of the uh, text here. I just uh, put one by one and I typed it ticker, then company name, then current price or opening price and so on. So we'll track all the value of this thing in real time using Google Finance. So at first we have to go Google Finance and then we have to see which stock we want to check or we want to put, pull the data here okay so suppose for example we want to pull the data for apple okay so if you don't know the ticker of this thing you can google it if you go to google and then if you type like apple stock then it will give you other details like apple stock this is apl okay then if you come here and if you type aapl it will give you the details of apple okay and from here you are seeing that this is the thing aapl this is the ticker so what i have to do i have to copy this thing or you can type it here on uh, the ticker name so i'm typing aapl okay so in this column actually we'll pull all the data of apple okay from google using google finance okay so for google finance we have a common uh, or uh, method it's called google finance so we will use that to track all the data so suppose uh, this aapl this is the ticker okay if you want to know the company name then what you have to do we have to type equal then google finance if you have g double o then it will show you a uh, couple of options okay so our target is uh, to get the financial data of this company okay so i'm using google finance this thing and then after that we have to put the ticker name so here the ticker is in this uh, cell right so i'm clicking here and it will come here and then we have to put a comma and then after that it is showing that we have to put attribute so for any attribute we have to uh, put double quote and inside this we have to put the attribute name so here uh, the company name the attribute name is termed as name so we have to type name and then after that we have to close the parenthesis and hit enter key and it will load the data and it will give you the uh, name of the company of this ticker okay so if you go uh, to the google fine uh, uh, google finance you will see the name of the company is apple inc so it is pulling the data from here so it is pulling all the data from um, there in real time now we want to check the current price so here for current price again we have to type uh, equal then google finance uh, this function and then after that we have to put the ticket na name ticket name is here so it will uh, uh, call from this cell and then we have to put uh, the price okay so again double quote and inside it we have to put price and then we have to close the method or function and hit enter key then it will pull the data see here it is pulling to 19 if we refresh then we'll see uh, the value is what there and here it will pull all the data 281 and here 281 exact data okay so it is pulling the data then if you want to check today's opening price uh, price then we have to put the uh, function like google finance again google finance and then after that uh, we have to put that ticket name the ticket name is aapl this cell i'm putting over there and then we have to put double quote and inside it we have to uh, uh, put the attribute name is price open and then we have to close the parenthesis and enter our return key okay and it will pull the data of today's opening price so today's opening price is 277 so uh, in this way we can actually check the today's what is the today's high uh, price so again we have to type google finance this command and then after that the ticker name ticker name is in this cell then comma then we have to put double quote and inside it we have to put high and then we have to close the parenthesis then it will pull the high price to get the low data we have to type the command google finance again 
Google Finance and then after that we have to put the ticker uh, the ticker is in this cell and then after that we have to type the uh, low here low attribute okay so get the load price data and then it will bring the low price data then uh, you, you can also pull status close this uh, price also so for that you have to type again uh, google finance google finance and then after that we have to put the ticker name the ticker name is apl it will come from that cell and then after that uh, we have to uh, put the attribute name so here the attribute name should be close Started OIST, OI, sorry, OIEST started. Okay, and then you have to close the parenthesis and then it will pull starts closing price. And then if you want to change, uh, uh, monitor the change, what is the change uh, between today's price and yesterday's price? Uh, I mean, yesterday's close price to compared to my today's price. What is the change? You can also do uh, by using Google Finance command, uh, Google Finance method. Then after that, ticker name, then comma, then we have to type change. And then it will show you the change value so here is the change value and then if you want to check what is the highest price of last 50 weeks you can also do uh, by typing the command uh, google finance equals sign first and then google finance then after that uh, the ticker name and then comma then we have to put the uh, attribute name so that for this case the attribute name is high 52 as we are pulling data for 52 weeks and then we have to close the parenthesis and then enter and it will pull the 52 weeks highest data and it, same way we can also put the lowest price on the difference there should be the low to get the last 50 tweaks lowest data we can also do uh, equal google finance and then the ticker name then comma then low 52 it's same almost same okay previously use high now we used low and then we have to close the parenthesis and then hit enter key or return key then you will find this thing now uh, this is the common data now if you want to check the graph uh, like what is the last six months trend then we can also do so in that case we have to use another function it is called spark line spark line if you type uh, spa then it will show you spark line and inside it you will see there are two things required on is data and is optional okay so for data uh, suppose we are using uh, this stock right so we can use the apple right so here we can use google finance google finance and then inside it uh, apple then comma so we want to put uh, the price for last uh, six months trends we want to see so we what we have to do we have to put the value of that thing so here what should be the thing we should have to put price first then we can use price price and then we have to put the range Okay, so here we are seeing the ticker attribute, then a start date and end date. Suppose this is the start and this is the end. So what we have to put? We have to put the start date. So start date, suppose for example, is today. Min uh, today this method it will give you today's uh, date minus uh, fifty two uh, last six months, right? That means on seventy nine days. Okay, then after that, uh, this is the starting. Okay, until today, right? So we have to again put today. Okay, so in this way you can put and finally actually we can close this whole thing. Okay, and if we hit enter uh, enter key or return key, then we'll see some data will be there. And this is showing the graph of last six months trend. Similarly, for one year we can also uh, pull the data. It will be the same formula. The only change will be uh, the date here. Here we put 50 tweaks. Instead of 50 tweaks, we have to mention the one year thing. Yeah, create that thing. So again, we are putting uh, equal then uh, spark line is spa. If we type spa, then spark line it will be there. Then after that, we have to put the data. So data is Google Finance data. So we are typing Google Finance, and then inside the Google Finance, we have to put the ticker name first. So ticker is Apple. This one, this C, uh, beyond, and then after that, uh, we have to put the price. So this is the attribute we are typing price, and after that, we have to tell from to. Uh, what will be the starting date okay so i'm typing today today then this is a function today minus how many days 364 364 then comma then uh, it, it is the starting point right and what will be the uh, close point today's date right so we have to type today this is a function and then we have to close the parenthesis and then we have to hit return or enter key and it will 
pull the one year data so in this way you can easily uh, pull all the stock data in your google sheet it's very simple and easy we just need to put all the function so here i put uh, apple similarly you can also check for other stock also suppose instead of apple suppose we want to check other stock like if you go finance and then there is other stock like something like uh, amazon stock a m z o n amazon so the ticker name is a m z z n right m z n so we can copy this thing or we can type so i'm going to i'm going there and then i'm typing here a m z n and then if i hit hidden key then it will change everything see here it is coming all the real time data and if we go there see here it is showing amazon and this is the price okay and these opening opening closing this thing you can compare and you can see everything best and here it is pulling all the data any uh, in this way you can put any stock name over there and you can uh, pull all the data in this way you can build your own portfolio also but i am not going to uh, jump those details in this tutorial uh, in future tutorial uh, i will show you how you can create your own portfolio using uh, google sheets so in this way you can easily uh, create uh, or pull a stock uh, data or you can create a stock tracking uh, sheet uh, very easily by using google finance and for graph we can use the spark line this function and in this uh, here you have to pass all the attributes so fully by watching this video you are able to uh, create a sheet which will pull all the data uh, from you uh, sorry from google finance and you can actually track all the things uh, like this way so fully by watching this video you will able to do this thing and uh, if you enjoy this video or if you think this video is helpful please please uh, hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel um, and please share this with others thank you for watching see you on the next video